don't get emotionally attached. That was one thing that I've always told my clients when purchasing a home or even selling a home. In this video series so far, we've talked about goals and visions and the process of buying a home in a pandemic. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about the emotional attachment. I've always told my clients, like I said, don't get emotionally attached. You don't know what's gonna happen and if the offer's not accepted or the deal doesn't go through, now you're gonna you know, have a bad day, you're gonna feel sad about it. Well, this experience has really taught me a lot as a realtor and as a consumer, mostly here as a realtor. As I mentioned in a previous video, so we, we live in a different area, about two hours away by car, not, not a you know, long drive by any means, um, but not right around the corner. So we, we visited, we looked at the home, we got home, uh, we looked at this home, went to our Phoenix home, and uh, waited on the results of our offer. The entire day, um, until we heard back, was a wreck. On the ride home, we, we, didn't, we, we couldn't really think straight, our, our stomachs were you know, upset the whole time, waiting uh, while we had lunch and then dinner. The whole day, my wife and I and other family members were a complete mess. We were completely emotionally attached to this home. The home that we first came through that morning, saw the other night, we wanted it to be ours. We, we sat there the whole day, waiting and waiting, nervous, anxious, wondering, you know, what if, it, what if it doesn't work out? Will we be able to find something else? Will we be able to create the same memories? And I kept thinking to myself, as a realtor, again, I tell people don't get emotionally attached. And here I am getting massively emotionally attached. I, I, I didn't know what to do the entire day. Every time I tried thinking about something else, I came back to this home. So ultimately what it taught me was, if we're emotionally attached to something, in this case, a home, it's probably a good thing. That means we love it. We want, we want it for certain a reason or certain reasons, whatever those are. When you get to that stage, it's gonna be something different for you. And for someone to say, don't get emotionally attached, I now realize that that has been the wrong thing. And I regret it. We were so emotionally attached. And then when hearing our offer got accepted, we were crying and bawling and all this stuff. And now I realize it's important to get emotionally attached. That means you found something that you love and you should have a home that you love to create the memories that you're going to create or if it's an investment and you're emotionally attached to that, whatever the reasons may be. If your kid's going to a certain school, you're having a certain yard for your kids and pets, whatever it is. There's so many different reasons. I've obviously only given a couple. And now here I am sitting on the porch of our new home that I was emotionally, emotionally attached to and I will always be emotionally attached to. We love this home. Absolutely love it. And I encourage you that when you find the home you love, to love it. Don't let your realtor discourage you from emotionally, not being emotionally attached to it. So, so far we've talked about goals, visions, buying a home in a pandemic, the process of buying a home, and emotional attachment. Please stay tuned for more videos, watch them on my YouTube channel or other social media out, out for, uh, platforms. And I look forward to hearing your comments, your process of buying a home, and the things that you've been involved with. Thanks for watching.